Bye everyone. Have a nice day. Today, let's reflect on the temporal things and eternal things. Regarding this, Jesus nicely replies to the disciples of Pharisees in today's gospel passage. That is, give back to Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's. The reply of Jesus reminds us that we are all citizens of two dominions, the spiritual and the temporal. We have duties to each of them. Give back therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's. Give back draws attention to the fact that the coin comes from Caesar. The coin bears Caesar's image, the first Roman emperor, and is part of his empire and governance. So it is appropriate to return the coin to Caesar and give back to God the things that are God's. We are made in the image and likeness of God. Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 to 27. We bear God's image and so it is appropriate to give ourselves back to God and all that we have and all that we are because God created us and we are an integral part of God's kingdom and the creation. And all things mean the coins, Caesar, Rome, the planet, earth, the universe come from the mind of God and are under God's dominion. Caesar's empire is but a portion within God's kingdom. The days of Caesar's kingdom are numbered, but God's kingdom is eternal. As citizens, we have an obligation to the state to obey its laws and to pay its taxes. St. Paul tells us that God has appointed higher authorities and we are obligated to obey them. Romans chapter 13 verses 1 to 2. He goes on to say, for this reason you also pay taxes for those in authority or servants of God's service. Give therefore to everyone what you owe, taxes to whom taxes are due, customs to whom customs, respect to whom respect, honor to whom honor. Romans chapter 13 verses 6 to 7. John Calvin, the French theologian and pastor says, Obedience to civil law and the payment of taxes in no way diminish a person's service to God. The exemption, of course, is a situation where human law conflicts with God's will, in which case we are to obey God first and to protest the social injustice if ever established by the government. Jesus does not divide the world into two equal kingdoms, clearly defining the boundaries between our obligations to Caesar and our obligations to God. Rather, his answer acknowledges our obligation to the state, but affirms our longer obligation to God, which is eternal. Let's not mix up and be confused regarding these two entities, the temporal things and the eternal things. Because the king or ruler of any country or state only has power over temporal things, not to eternal things. But our God, the Almighty, has power over temporal things as well as eternal things. That's why we call him the King of Kings, the Prince of Princes. Amen.